Welcome to FP1, Unit 1.2, Multiplying Complex Numbers. This is very much the same as when you're dealing with algebra, expanding brackets, like expanding double brackets, like quadratics and so on. It's very, very similar, just with one slight little bit to remember as you go through. So let's start with an example. So 3 plus 4i... Let's multiply that by another complex number, 2 plus 5i. So you want to expand this bracket as you would normally expand it. So you know, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 5i is 15i, 4i times 2 is 8i, and 4i times 5i is 20i squared and then the only thing that we need to remember is that i squared is equal to negative 1 so you must remember i equals sorry i squared equals negative 1 so remember that because obviously i is the square root of negative 1. And that's kind of all there is to it. It's going to be very straightforward now. So we've got 6 plus 23i. Now if i squared is negative 1, this is going to become negative 20. 20 times negative 1, negative 20. So now we've got negative 14 plus 23i as our complex number. I'll do a second example, slightly different. Let's go 2 minus 3i, and let's make this one squared. So, same as two brackets, um, or I can take, you know, the kind of shortcut, you know what it is. So, 2 times 2, so we got 4 minus 6 minus 12i minus 3 times minus 3 plus 9 i squared so we have 4 minus 12i minus 9 so we have 5 minus 5 minus 12i as our complex number there if you're not sure how you can quickly expand these brackets when you've got the squared there it's just square the first term which is here square my last term which is here multiply these two together and double it so double the product. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, doubled minus 12. So a shortcut just to work out the squared terms there. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video now. <coughs> Here's the answers to the first six. Just popped them up quite quickly. Now going to do the next set quite quickly as well but when you're looking at i to the power 6 you need to think of it as essentially i squared times i squared times i squared rules of indices adding your powers so this is minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 so the final answer is minus 1 there Just made some room i'm going to do these ones just below just to show you so i to the power five will be i squared times i squared times i so it's minus one times minus one times i so this is just going to be i when i'm looking at this one to power three so first two cubed is eight i cubed so this is the same as 8i squared times i i squared is minus 1 so we got minus 8i and all of these answers are either going to end up with a as a real number or as an imaginary number just with the, the i there and then 3 to the power 4 is 81 i to the power 4 
So this will be 81 times a squared times a squared. So that's minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. So that's just an 81. So that's my final answer, just the 81 there. So really what you're doing with the powers is you're just breaking them up into i squareds. And then for the even number of i squareds you've got, it's going to be a positive one. Odd number of i squareds will obviously be a negative one. Here's the answers to 11, 12, 13 and 14. And I'll go through the answers to 15. So first you want to expand the brackets. So I'm going to expand these two brackets and then compare. So I'm going to get a plus a b i plus 3i plus 3b i squared. And if I simplify, so 3b i squared is going to become a negative 3b. Let's do that on the next line here. So a minus 3b plus, let's put the ab plus 3i in there. So there's my real, there is my imaginary from here, and they've got to equal 25 minus 39i. And that's what's important, I can set up my two equations, a minus 3b equals 25, and ab plus 3 equals negative 39. Okay. So it should be quite straightforward now, you know, I would rearrange this one, 25 plus 3b, and substitute it into here. So we'd end up with 25 plus 3b multiplied by b plus 3 equals negative 39. Just make it a bit more room there. <coughs> So it's just a matter of expand the brackets. Take everything to one side. And you can use the formula. You can use your calculator. You can put these in one brackets. So we got b equals minus 7 over 3, b equals minus 6, and then putting these into the other equation, I'm just going to jump straight in with the answers here, this will be 18 and 7, okay, got 25 minus 7 essentially, and 25 minus 18 there. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so I can bring more of these to you. Thank you.